Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, uh, it's been a hot minute since I've made a video and I kind of feel bad too because about two or three weeks ago I had put on my Instagram and I was about to say Facebook, Instagram and my Twitter that I was going to be doing a couple new videos for y'all just because I've been wanting to make some more and I just never got around to it and finally here I am. Today's video I'm going to be doing my foundation routine that I do and it's pretty simple because with me I don't put a whole lot of things on my face. I just kind of feel like the more stuff you put on your face that's the more that you're just clogging your pores. So mine or at least I think it's pretty simple. I don't know y'all may look at it and be like oh my god that's a whole lot of stuff but I, don't know, I guess I guess really the only thing that I skip is primers. Just because, I don't know if maybe I just haven't found a primer that I like or if I just don't need a primer. I don't know because what I do, I find that the foundation routine that I do actually works really well for me. So like I said, I don't know if I just don't need a primer or if I just haven't found one that I like. And to be honest with you, I really haven't tried too, too many um, foundation primers. Like I've done, let me see, I've tried... I've tried these two, and they're both e.l.f. And I know, you know, e.l.f. is a cheap brand, but I've tried... Um, the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer and then the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. And then I've also tried the, the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Intensifying Primer. And just, I don't know, this one really like made my pores like, poof, I don't know. If it works for you, go for it. Didn't work for me. And then these two just, I don't know. I don't know, I just felt like there was like a barrier between like my face and the actual foundation itself. And I just, to me, that feels like the foundation's not on me and I feel like it's gonna move easily. I don't know, that's just my preference. So starting off, what I do, lately I've been using, or not lately, I've been using it for the past few months now. It is the Milani Conceal and Prime 2-in-1 and I love this stuff. And it's not summertime, so I haven't been out in the sun very much. I am extremely pale, so I use the number one, Cream Vanilla. and. What I do is I have my foundation brush or my um, stipple brush put about a pump and a half because one, I kind of find it's not enough, two, I find it's too much. So I do that, dot it on my face, and then swirl it all in. Make sure I go down the neck a little bit. So my brush is still wet. I washed my foundation brush right before this video because it was filthy. The only reason I washed it so that I could do this video. Oh, oh, oh. No, it was pretty bad though. So I washed and I tried to dry it as best as I could, but I still feel like my brush was like on the wet side. But oh well. I look super, super wide in this video. When I look at myself in the mirror behind, I don't look that bad, but then I look here and I'm like, oh my god, I look like a ghost. Promise I'm really not this wide in person. Okay, so once I get that all, all nice and in, I, I guess you could say I bake with concealer. Any sort of spots that you can still kind of see, like poking through my foundation. I get my, let's see, it's the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, this one that everybody's using. It's awesome. So any spots that I see, here, over here, I already did there, but I still see it poking through. So I put this on and I actually let it sit on my face. At this point, I move on to my eyeshadow which this isn't an eyeshadow video, so I'm going to pause and come back to it. Okay, I'm back. And I threw on a couple shades of eyeshadow just for eyeshadow, eyeshadow's sake. So my next step after I do my eyeshadow is I get the same foundation brush and I sweep underneath just in case if there's any fallout. That way I kind of dust it off and get that all nice and cleared underneath there. Then I go in with my concealer, and I have been using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I use it in the color um, 15, which is Fair or Claire. So with that, I come in, and I do like this.
and underneath and just kind of fan it out. Then I take, oh gosh, where's my other little makeup bag? Oh, it's right in front of my face. Just kidding. I have a, this is the Real Techniques, and I think it's the, it says pointed foundation brush, and I use this one to tap out. I don't really smear or like brush it, except for the edges. But when it comes to the inner part here where my dark circles are, because I want to leave that area nice and light so that it's not still dark, but up here, hang on, I forgot up here, kind of give me that little crisp edge, but I, I tap my concealer out. I don't brush it, I tap on it. And I feel like that works best for me. Same with the other eye. So I just tap it all out or tap, dab, whatever you want to call it. Not that dab, this dab. Now with me, I usually kind of feel like even though it's brightened underneath my eyes, I still feel like I can see the purple or like the, the dark circles right here. So then I come back with the same Age Rewind yada yada that I love to use and I put it just here on the dark spot. I don't go all out like I did with the other one. Just focus there on the dark spots. Same thing with this one. Just lightly dab it. So I want to keep that yellowy color there. Or that's that's the reason why I do it. Because with this one, the Maybelline, I feel like it's a lot more... I don't know how to describe it. I just got lipstick or something on my nail. Uh, this one, I feel like it's a lot lighter. And I guess more like on the white side. I don't know how to describe it. I'm trying to get that lipstick off. And then where this one, I kind of feel like it has a little bit more of a yellowy tint to it, which is why I like to use both. I use this one more for brightening, and this one covers like what this one didn't with the dark circles. Because that yellow will cancel out the purple in my dark circles underneath my eyes. And I just feel to me like this little combo that I use just works amazing. So using that same brush, then... This concealer has been sitting on my face probably about a good 10 minutes or so. Same thing with this. I'm not brushing it, but I'm like dabbing. And I feel like my spots are now a lot more concealed. Ta-da! Next, where is... Here it is. For setting my foundation, I use the Airspun Loose Loose Face Powder. See, that is a bit. My lights are too bright. I'm kind of wondering if I should even do this video right now or if I should just, I don't know, figure something else out. So the Airspun. And I use the Translucent Extra Coverage in 70-41. Sure. So what I do with this. I get it and I dab some into the lid. I'm saying dab a lot right now. I dab some into the lid. And I use the big old poofy pun sponge that it comes with. I get quite a bit on my sponge and pack it on my face. Pack it on. Now some does get in my eyeshadow. And watch out because <laughs> it's getting all up in my nose. Now some does get on my eyeshadow. Oh, and I like to focus. I use this for setting powder. Even under the eye. It works for me. Back to what I'm saying because I have ADD. Some does get on my eyeshadow, but oh that's that's actually a lot that got on my eyeshadow this time. I usually don't get that much. But if that happens, then I just take a eyeshadow brush and sort of lightly dust it out. So once I have this sitting on my face, I let it, honestly, I really don't even let it sit for all that long. But I'm going to take just a clear or clean eyeshadow brush and just dust it off. Good as new. <sighs> like I said, I really don't even let this sit too, too often or too often, too long on my face. And so then, don't do this in the clothes that you're planning on going out in. Bad idea. So then, I take the powder that I have been using, 
And lately I've been using, again, it's the Milani, it's the powder foundation. And again, being super white, I use the uh, number one and it's in the color Shell. Okay, so I use my powder and I use a Real Techniques. It just says multitask brush, but I like this one for my foundation. Not my foundation, my powder, what am I talking about? And in doing so, I dust off all the airspun powder that I just put on. Once I get that all nice and dusted off, then I see a little powder right there. Uh -huh. Once I get that done, then I move on to doing my eyeliner, lashes, um, eyebrows, and contour. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick, and then I'm going to come back and finish the last step, I guess, that I used for my foundation routine. All right, so here I am with the rest of my face done. I fixed the lights. They're not so obnoxious and in your face. I fixed the lights. <laughs> um, all right, so my final step that I do is I do um, the, or I use the NYX Matte Finish um, Long Lasting Setting Spray. And this, I feel like it kind of just locks everything all in because of all the powders and everything that you're using. Um, especially when I contour, I don't do cream contours, I powder contour. So I kind of feel like because of all the powder, it kind of makes your face look a little bit chalky and stuff. So this kind of brings it all together, locks it all in, and just finishes off the look just perfectly. So I go ahead, I take this, and I... Oh, I feel like this lash is sitting a little low. Yeah, better. Ugh, now it's all in my hair. My hair is going to smell like glue. That's one thing, that's the one bad thing about this, is it kind of smells like, like Elmer's glue or something. Like the glue that you use in elementary. But you know what? It works. Let that set. Nice and good. And that's pretty much it. I guess that's it. This is what I use for my foundation, or my foundation routine. Um, I guess if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, share my video, get it out there. I would love to have more subscribers that way. I have more comments, more ideas from you guys of what y'all would like to see me do. Um, but yeah, other than that, I really don't think there's much else to say. So thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!